to take some lateral filing cabinets that I got yesterday from Edmonton out of my van. I take the, the doors and the drawers out of filing cabinets to use as raised garden beds. And today's, right now it's minus 14, so not so bad. It's getting a little bit warmer, but uh, you know, that's Alberta for you. As you can see, there's two filing cabinets here, and they take up most of the space in my van. Okay, these filing cabinets are not light, but I'm going to take them apart, probably when it gets a little bit warmer, and I'm going to make, I see these ones have actual drawers in them, so I'm going to make like garden planters out of the drawers and then I'm going to use this main thing to make a big raised garden bed and look at this there's a penny in there I am blessed I like that oh what is this it is what is it probably a million dollar penny huh it's it's old 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 I gotta see how old that is. Anyway, I'm quite happy even finding that penny. That's pretty cool. So, I'm gonna take these bottom parts and put them probably, maybe in that section of my yard right there. Um, I don't know, I have to see. As a raised bed, like I said. And there's my gazebo thing, I don't know. I'm going to grow Creeping Virginia all over this. I had it moved from here. The neighbor out back was nice enough to bring his bobcat thing over and move it. And I got it slightly on the angle so it looks a little nicer in the yard and just plopped, plopped there and then the garage and the house all in a line. But anyway, this is, uh, I like this idea of using filing cabinets for raised garden beds. And I put grass clippings in the bottom and twigs and leaves and compost and then I'll get a, a load of topsoil dropped in my yard and then I'll put that at the very top to plant it in the spring so it's awesome now I'm going out to the back to go to one of my raised garden beds which is an old filing cabinet you guessed it then I turned into a planter I put a whole bunch of leaves in it and uh, this one doesn't have grass clippings, but it's got a whole bunch of leaves in it. And then I put compost in there from the house that I have, you know, <clears throat> whatever. Eggshells, potato peelings, and carrot peelings, whatever. <clears throat> I dump it. And then I have another... I have a lot of bags of leaves that I collected from town. People are nice enough to just bag them all up and leave them on the road there. So I brought a whole bunch and I'll just get some and put another bag on top. And as the winter progresses, they'll just decompose and uh, it'll be good to put in the it's just great to put in the bottom for organic matter and gets these raised beds ready for spring planting and then I'll put some I'll get a load of topsoil in here and I'll put it on the, the top and grow in that and this will keep decomposing and uh, and get uh, really good nutrition for the plants. So the top is leaves again and as it just keeps sort of decomposing and well once the thaw comes in the spring it'll just uh, all your little worms will find their way in there and then I just leave a bag here and I take leaves and add to the top every time I add some more compost so 
it's working out pretty nicely. Might as well recycle. My friends say that you can paint these. This one happened to be gray, which matches the back of my garage. Not that I care because I'm going to be growing stuff all along on the outside. Maybe some stuff will grow and, and lean over. But uh, you won't even see really these cabinets and they're fine.